Staffing shortages may get much worse and providers rip states limiting their profits over direct care. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, October 27th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member. You can enroll quickly on our website at nacacna.org. Join today and stand up for what you deserve. Nursing homes and other residential care facilities have already lost about 380,000 workers since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic in February of 2020, and the shortages are expected to get even worse, according to the National Investment Center for Seniors Housing and Care. A new NIC analysis on the labor crisis and the ripple effect it has created on skilled nursing operations predicts that staffing shortages likely haven't hit their peak and, in fact, may get much worse based on the recent data the authors wrote. The biggest shortages of staff reported by skilled nursing facilities have been among aides and nursing staff, which also represent the largest share of all skilled nursing staff. Facilities experiencing shortages of both groups have also reported higher per resident rates of new COVID-19 infections and lower occupancy rates compared to skilled nursing facilities reporting no shortages of nursing staff and aides. NIC found that in December 2020, infection rates peaked at about 4.76% on a four-week moving average for centers reporting shortages of hands-on essential staff, while skilled nursing facilities that had no shortages reported an infection peak of 2.54%. Long-term care providers in New York and New Jersey are questioning new state mandates that will limit how much operators can profit from resident care in an effort to address problems local leaders say were exposed during the COVID-19 pandemic. New Jersey, New York, and Massachusetts are three states that have implemented or have proposed requirements for nursing homes on direct care spending and how much they can profit, a new analysis by Kaiser Health News explores. New York's requirement, which goes into effect next year, mandates that nursing homes must use at least 70% of their revenue, including payments from Medicaid, Medicare, and private insurers, on direct resident care and at least 40% of that on resident staffing. The move has been widely criticized by providers who have said the state has failed to address longtime Medicaid underfunding issues. The Massachusetts mandate requires nursing homes to spend at least 75% of all revenue on revenue care, while New Jersey's proposal requires providers to spend at least 90% of revenue on patient care. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.